Hello future makers. Welcome to Teacher Brainyard. In our previous video of how to become a teacher in India, many of you commented on how are these courses done and from which colleges these courses are done. As of now, we have compiled a video on what's in an ECC Ed course. One of my close cousin was doing diploma in ECC Ed course from a teacher training institute. I have tried to record all the journals and flashcards that she has made. Without further ado, let's get started with the video, and you guys can see what will you have to do if you opt for an ECC Ed course. Let me tell you, it's not gonna be an easy journey, but at the end, it will be worth it. Let's get started. This is a festival and event celebration journal. It is a spiral bound book which starts with an index. The book has pictures on the left side and description on the right side. The festivals of Diwali and Dashera are mentioned in this journal. The description about how, when, and why a festival or an event is celebrated is given very nicely in the journal. Cellophane sheets are put in the middle so that the neatness of the book is maintained. The book is beautifully decorated and has least amount of cancellations. The events of Teacher's Day and Children's Day are covered in this journal. Imagine the amount of time and effort that would have been put in to make this journal. In fact, we have many such journals to go. These are a few flashcards which are made to teach the kids about different types of animals, vegetables and shapes. These flashcards are very important so that everybody in the class can observe them and relate to them. The picture is quite big so that everybody in the class can see it. It's very neatly labeled and has color coordinated borders. These flashcards make an image of the things fit in the mind of the children. So here is a flashcard of a tomato, a brinjal and a dog. This is the box puppet of a monster. See how beautiful it looks from the front as well as from the back. The handles are made for the convenience of the performer. Very thoughtful, isn't it? This is a readiness journal. The aim of this journal is to make the kids ready for the alphabets, writing, reading and numbers. The journal is divided into three sections. Reading readiness, writing readiness and arithmetic readiness. The reading readiness covers topics like introduction of a letter, find the rhyme and color and comprehension. The writing readiness covers tracing patterns, join the numbers and complete the picture like that of a butterfly shown in the worksheet and write the first letter. The arithmetic readiness covers introduction of a number, count and circle, and subtraction. The whole journal is made up of worksheets that can be given to the kids as an activity. This is a finger puppet of a teddy bear. Cute, isn't it? This is a paper plate puppet of a lion. This is a craft journal. The cover is very impressive. It's a spiral bound book which starts with an index which is given very neatly. The next comes the rules to remember while teaching craft. These rules are very important when a teacher goes to teach craft. Next comes the basic fold which will be required for all the remaining items that are mentioned in the journal. A total of 15 items are showed in the journal. On the left side, 
the step by step folds of each item are stated and on the right side the final product is displayed with a very decorative touch the craft items of a wallet a tree a pen holder a board a frame a letter box a home a flower a bird a dog a fish a hat a cup a shirt and a rabbit are very beautifully stated and shown in this journal this journal helps in giving a hands on experience to the children while the teacher is doing such crafts each fold is very important and it should be neat and clean this enhances the psychomotor domain of the pre primary children and they become very active and take interest in the studies this is an art journal it's covered very decoratively with the lace it's divided into four sections first introduction to primary and secondary colors second various types of paintings third various types of printings and fourth section is for creativity with papers the journal includes spray painting thread painting wet chalk painting balloon painting sponge dabbing thumb printing finger printing vegetable printing folk painting leaf painting paper tearing art paper crumpling art paper twisting art paper mosaic art and pencil shavings art remember the journal that is shown in the video is just a sample of what could be done with these types of paintings art at the end is your own creativity and you can add much more creativity to it this journal takes most of the time in getting prepared because each of them has to be done separately kept for drying and then put in a journal the cellophane sheets put in the middle are to ensure that the color doesn't stick to the next page even if you are a person who is not very fond of art just like i am then to after making this whole journal i am sure that the creative side of your mind will start tingling and you'll learn more and more about it as you do it make sure that you enjoy the process because if you enjoy the process the students will enjoy doing it too and this activity would be a fun based learning This is a story journal. The cover is made up of 3D figures. It's a spiral bound book with pictures on the left with some decoration and stories on the right. Each story has a moral which can act as a perfect giveaway for the students after the class. This journal contains a total of 5 stories. The stories that are covered in this journal are The Dove and the Ant the fox and the grapes the dog and the bone the lion and the mouse and the crane and the crab stories are so universal that kids as well as teachers can enjoy them they are enjoyable for the adults too if you want to check out a few of our teacher stories link will be provided in the i button and in the description box below do check them out the cellophane sheets put in the middle of the book are to ensure that none of the pages get stuck to each other it's a very beautifully made book and it's very attractive with the bigger size of pictures that are used for the journal this is the poster of the scene at the railway station see how beautifully the minor as well as the major things that could be seen at a railway station are coordinated in one this is a rhymes journal the cover definitely reminds me of the childhood days it starts with an index It's a spiral bound book with cellophane sheets in the middle to maintain the neatness. The pictures pertaining to the poem are stuck on the left side and the poems are written very neatly on the right side. 
the pictures have a relevant background and decoration that are attractive the poems 10 little fingers clap your hands 1 2 3 4 1 2 buckle my shoe tailor cobbler potatoes five fat peas baba black sheep and pussy cat are covered in this journal after doing the course of ecc ed one becomes a pre primary teacher and in the journey of pre primary education rhymes form a very important part of their education a teacher should not only know all these poems by heart but should also know how to sing it in a particular tone and how to present it in front of students with expressions and actions this makes the class very cheerful and learning becomes very easy and enjoyable a teacher should enjoy the journey as well as the students should This is a stick puppet of a bee. Adorable, isn't it? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment and tell us if you want to see more such videos for the courses of BA and MA as well. For more such videos, subscribe to Teacherpreneur. See you soon.